Hi everyone and welcome to Heidi's home. So today in this video, it is Saturday and we are going to tackle some things that we don't get done every single week as well as some regular items too. But I've got a lot of cleaning to do because I had a extremely busy week this week and did not get to everything. And I kind of feel like I need a day just to do those things that I don't usually get done. But this video is going to start with dishes, of course, because who doesn't have dishes to do, especially if you don't have a dishwasher. And even if you do, you got to load it, unload it. So my first job today is going to be getting the dishes done and out of the way. So once that is accomplished, I'll be set um, to go, go, go and get some of the other things done. So since I'm in the kitchen, as usual, um, life is never perfect, right? So our coffee pot kind of malfunctioned and it leaked coffee all over the counter. I mean, it was everywhere and coffee stained. So I am bleaching the countertops and I also scrubbed out the coffee pot, but I didn't exactly get that in this video, but I am ready to just go ahead and load this coffee pot for tomorrow morning because I am so busy that I just, I don't know about you, but don't talk to me, don't burden me until I get my cup of coffee in in the morning. I function so much better. Just flip a switch, sit quietly till it's done, get one cup of coffee in, and then I am good to go the rest of the day. So not only am I going to load this coffee pot, but I'm also going to reload my canister uh, for the week. Now, by request, some of you have asked to see how I clean my electric skillet. Now, I use my electric skillet a lot lately. The first thing I do is I unplug it, and I also take the plug in and place it upward in my sink. Now, with a semi-damp sponge, lots of Dawn liquid soap. I just use a lot of elbow grease. I don't use anything abrasive on this surface because obviously you don't want to scratch it. So I just am very careful, give it a good scrub, a good rinse, and just dry, and it's ready for the next round. Now, the dishes do not put themselves away. So, this giant pile of dishes that I'm a little embarrassed to show, but yes, I have to dry and put all of it away.
This is a task that I don't do every week, but my husband loves his popcorn. And even though the popcorn is in a bag, it will leak butter into your microwave. And I don't use this microwave a whole lot, but my husband does love his microwave popcorn. So we're gonna give this microwave a good scrub out and a good clean and I can check it off the list as something that I get done. For the start, I guess, of the weekend, it is Saturday, so for the beginning of my week, I am going to go ahead and make my iced tea. You all know I make a pitcher of iced tea quite, quite frequently, and I use black tea bags, five of them in my tea kettle, and I get that made and put in the refrigerator, and we enjoy on it for about four or five days. Now I'm going to tackle another project that I don't get to all the time. I hate doing this, but it does need to be clean. And that is the underneath sort of pull out drawer of your stove. So I'm going to give this a good wipe out. I'm using spray bleach and a rag, and then I'm going to put all my pots and pans back in. Leftover chicken fajitas are going to go into the oven for lunch today. I am also going to be sharing with my father-in-law next door, and this is going to be so amazing. Now, after I refueled, I decided, well, let's just clean the bathroom because all of my hair accessories and things are strung all over the bathroom, plus my shower curtain needs to be washed because... God bless him, but my husband is blind, if you don't know. And often times he will run into the shower curtain with dirty hands on the way to the sink, not realizing. And the shower curtain needs to be washed. And I, I kind of joked with him and I said, hey, did you think that the shower curtain was a towel? <laughs> so we have to get that in the wash here.
Now let's mop the kitchen floor really, really good. I'm still using the Target orange scented cleaner. I think after today it'll be all gone and I can purchase something new. But yes, I'm using my spin mop. It's the old cedar spin mop. I love it. It's awesome. It is a genius idea because you get all the dirty uh, water. Plus also too, you get all the excess water off of it. So you're not mopping with an extremely wet mop. And I like the fact too that the head is small and it can get underneath things really easily. And also too, the mop head just pulls off and throws right into the washing machine for the next round. Yes, I am sharing the real life mess of my dining room. So you can see some clothes back there drying. They're dry, they're gonna get folded here in a minute. Right now, my shopping bags are gonna be put up for whenever the next time I need to get on the bus. And I have a bunch of Walmart bags that have accumulated on the insides of these bags because I have decided to be too lazy to throw them away. But today I be no, no more laziness. I was going to actually throw them away and I'm going to fold those clothes and get things tidy in this dining room. You'll also see me get on a chair to straighten out a sign above my bookcase back there in the back. Um, it is crooked for some reason and hopefully I can get back there and reach good enough to fix it.
also those things that I don't do all the time. I just gave my husband a haircut and I did it today before I mopped the floor so that I could get the hair all swept up and get the clippers and everything all put away. By the way, excuse the way I look in this video, my hair was down this on this particular morning and I just kind of swooped it up and didn't pay attention to what I look like. So yes, I look like death, but um, I'm cleaning, so it's not the Miss America pageant, it'll be okay. So now that my shower curtain is clean and dry, I'm gonna rehang it and it will be nice and fresh in that bathroom. So it feels good to have a nice, tidy, clean bathroom, doesn't it, when you finally get the job done? Well, pesty areas to have to dust. I hate the pesty areas, but we have to do them. So I'm gonna take everything out from underneath this TV. I'm gonna dust really, really good, and then I'm gonna put everything back, or I may even put some things in another place, but nevertheless, underneath the TV will be finally tidy and dust-free. I am going to dust this really cute bookshelf area that my dad built for my fireplace. Um, the fireplace is not usable, but we have the idea of the fireplace, and I just love the way this came out. I love to decorate this for the different seasons, but I have to get down here today to get this dusted. It's black, so if there's any kind of dust, or anything, it will show very, very easily. I'm also going to do my little side table and load my wax melts so that I can make my house smell really good today.
now that everything is dusted and fresh, I'm going to give the floors and the living room area a good mop. And that will really make the house smell really good. I love it when the house ends up being like today. You know, you, you get everything wiped down and dusted. The important things all wash through the washer and those simple areas that you don't get to every single day it's a good feeling and i love you know just to sit on the couch and drink a diet coke and just feel like i accomplished something today in my home so here in a little bit i will be ending this video and i'm going to be putting the new blanket on my couch where i keep it see it there so I want to say thank you so much for watching. I hope that this video brought inspiration, motivation to you all. If you are new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I'd love to have you part of Heidi's Home. Have a fantastic week, and I will be seeing you soon. Bye.